Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Wise Guys Entertainment, and this is Wise Collects. All right, so to preface this, um, you might have heard from one of the other vi videos you might have listened to that I consider myself roughly 90% boycotting Disney. Disney owns so many freaking dang properties and IPs that it's hard to escape them. Uh, for the most part, I don't support paying them money directly, so I try to use other means like resellers or yard sales or uh, those uh, places like Ollie's where uh, <clears throat> overstock uh, and product that doesn't sell is uh, uh, sold cheaper uh, or even other toy stores. So uh, I'm trying not to support Disney, but there's certain things that I will make exceptions for. And that is why I consider uh, myself boycotting Disney only about 90, 95% of the time. I'll do a, I'll do a video about it, um, hopefully soon. So let me show you what I've got here. I didn't think I'd ever come across this, but this is a, it says Star Wars Modern. Um, I forgot what LSE is supposed to be, but uh, it's uh, Mara Jade. Luke Skywalker's wife. She started out on the dark side, as I believe. Um, she's from the extended universe. Uh, the part that Disney wants to ignore and decanonize. But she started out on the side of, uh, I think she was a bounty hunter at one point. And uh, she was with the Sith. And then she was, uh, at one point, instructed to hunt down Luke. And they got into uh, battles. And somewhere along the line, I guess they fell in love and had kids. But uh, what's cool about this figure, I was kind of... Uh, going back and forth trying to figure out whether I wanted to spend 25 bucks on this, but I figured what are the chances of my finding it else uh, out there in the wild? Um, it's got a, a regular lightsaber hilt. Um, it's got a laser pistol. And then she's got a full lightsaber as well. And it uh, looks like she's got a purple blade. So I guess she I don't remember her well maybe she did have a purple blade all this time I don't remember but if she did then I think she had a purple lightsaber before Mace Windu okay next is uh, <coughs> excuse me uh, next to uh, finally find a uh, Star Wars Mandalorian Cara Dune. Uh, they call this Retro Collection. Uh, got this for 12 bucks. Comes with the uh, rifle with a shoulder strap and a laser pistol. And uh, I want, oh crap, I just realized this figure doesn't even show. You see here, under the left eye, there's a Rebel Insignia. They didn't give her a Rebel Insignia under the left eye. I don't know if that was intentional or just a screw-up. But, uh, yeah. This is meant to look like the old three and three-quarter inch Star Wars figures from back in the day. Uh, I like and support Gina Carano. So, 
I wanted, uh, I didn't get in on that bandwagon to get all that Cara Dean merch before she got canceled. But, uh, so I picked this up after the fact, wait, a wait a while later. Uh, so what's weird is on the back, it, let me say. The Star Wars Retro Collection is inspired by 1970s Star Wars figures and features original figure design and detailing. Continue your, coll your collection from the galaxy far, far away. And then it's got the same sentences in other languages. Uh, and those are the characters that you can get from this collection. But if I remember, the classic Kenner cards used to oh this is interesting they just got plastic that just wraps around this part as opposed to having it extend like a hook up here like some packages it's still technically a blister pack um but if I remember, I thought it had like the character and then it had like a profile of that character. You know, describing them, uh, what they're about, the basics. All right, so then I saw these stupid Funko Pop things. And uh, this is a blind box. So you could get any one of those characters and the odds of getting a car of Dune are 1 in 12. I was hoping to get a car of Dune, but instead I got IG-11. So, I mean, he's kind of cool. But he's a bobblehead. So, it's kind of cool. Um, let me double check. He's got a picture of him, but... It, doesn't have the name. Okay. Oh, well. So, I got... Uh, I only got one blind box. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright, this might crack some of you up. Alright, so if you look... If you go check these out nowadays, you don't have to rely on the blind boxes. Just go pick up the versions of these boxes that are have a clear window so you can see exactly who the character is. Notice that Cara Dune is number 33. So all you have to do is look for 33 in the display box. See, so look at this. They have the Rebel insignia under the left eye. How hard would it have been for um, these guys to get, you know? I don't think that's truly Kenner. Excuse me. It's Hasbro. Hasbro bought Kenner, but they're still using the Kenner name, which is confusing as hell. Makes no sense. There was, uh, there's some good videos made by this uh, YouTuber team called Retro Blasting. They make amazing videos. Check it out. They talk all about how, uh, you know, the packaging on the Kenner. Packaging using Kenner branding versus Hasbro and whatnot. Very good videos. Well thought through, uh, well organized, very informational. Uh, take note of the direction she's facing, right? So I was starting to just pick up Every one of the Cara Dunes I could find, every visit I made. And these I would pick up from the store called Five Below. All right, now look at this. Now she's like totally looking 90 degrees to the right. This one, she's looking straight ahead. As we saw before, she's kind of looking to the side. Here, she's looking to the side again. So, I went back to the five below. I almost bought five or six more of these. 
but then I actually maintained some level of self-control and I was like, do I really need these? Do I really need to spend the money on these? And I said, no. That was a pretty proud moment. But then the other deciding factor was Funko, I guess they don't care much about Q&A because half of the cardians I would find were like fa facing backwards, facing to the right, facing to the left. It's like they were all in these different directions, positions. Like they just threw them in there willy-nilly. And on one hand, I was thinking, could that make them worth more down the road? Like, could they be classified as imperfect or rare? Uh, but then I, I concluded in the end that um, I think it's uh, shoddy packaging and uh, disregard for QA, quality assurance. So I decided against getting them ultimately. So I might actually stop at these five plus that extra one with IG-11. Um, and then if something cool, something else cool comes along, or if I can find any other Cara Jean related merch or, um, Mara Jade, maybe I'll pick those up, but yeah, that concludes the Star Wars collection. Um, I used to have the action figures and the toys and the vehicles a long, long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. But I've since lost them all over time. I think some of it might have gotten sold at yard sales. I'm not sure. Can't remember now. In any case, thank you for joining me and thanks for uh, hanging out for another episode of Wise Collects. Thank you very much. Please like, comment, subscribe, share the video, and we'll see you on the next stream.